Hello guys, welcome back to Sisters Talk TV. Welcome, welcome, welcome. So before we get started, please be sure to go ahead and hit that like and subscribe button. Make sure you check us out on Instagram at Sisters Talk TV. Your subscription really means a lot to us. So please, please, before you start with this video, like and subscribe. So let's go ahead and get on with the review. So I've been... Guys, I've been really tuning in to Married at First Sight. It is such a good show. I don't know where I've been um, discovering this show, but it's really, really good. So it comes on, it comes on, on Lifetime on Wednesday at 7 p.m. Central Time and 8 p.m. Eastern Time. But it's a really good show. So I did review episode one or episode two so i'm just gonna kind of clump it up not much happened on episode two but a lot of things happened on episode three so let's go ahead and get started so episode one right we pretty much get an introduction of the ladies and the guys and kind of who they will be pairing up with so there are a total of five couples we have ryan and clara jacob and Haley, eric and virginia vincent and brianna and chris and paige so episode one, we just get an introduction of who the ladies are, also who the guys are. So let's go ahead and start off with Brianna. She's an engineer. She is very, um, she is kind of like um, very um, structured within her ways. Vincent, he is a, like a business, kind of a car broker. So they're both kind of, um, I wouldn't say they're too opposite, but we'll, we'll see how it works. And we also have Chris and Paige. They're both, um, well, Chris is an entrepreneur, Paige is a CPA, so she's an accountant, Ryan and Clara, Ryan is a project manager, Clara, I forgot what they said she did, but I think she, I'm not sure what they said Clara did, but we have, we also have Jacob and Haley, so Jacob is kind of like a, a computer whiz, he's into IT, computer, Haley is a custom, um, pharmaceutical rep, so she's into that. We also have Eric in Virginia. Eric is a pilot. Virginia, uh, I kind of forgot what they said Virginia did, but they are all paired up. So far, so good. So the first episode, like I mentioned, they didn't get to meet each other, but they had their bachelor, bachelor and bachelorette party, and the ladies are learning about each other, just kind of having a good time. The guys are learning about each other as well. So some of the guys in episode one, they feel that Chris is kind of rubbing them off the Congratulations, wrong you're way. using They're Headliner, really the best way to make videos Chris. for your social feeds. We're, we're if you have any questions or need any help, please get in touch with us. We want to know just, anything we can do really to help you make better videos, so please don't be shy. Congratulations, you're using three. Headliner, so let's the best way to make videos for your social two. feeds. If you have any so questions or need any help, please get in touch happens. with us. So we want to know anything we can we do to help Clara you make better videos, so please don't be shy. Clara Congratulations, Ryan. you're using so Headliner, like, the best oh, way to make videos for so your social feeds. If you have any questions um, or need any help, please get in touch with us. We want to know anything we can do to help you make better videos, so please don't be shy. Ryan is very um, laid back and Claire is really outgoing. She's very talkative. So they're a little opposite. Um, but I felt like, you know, they're really cute. They, you know, may have a connection, but we'll see. Um, one thing that really stuck out to me episode two was Clara was saying, oh, she wanted kind of the guy that she wanted was someone who was like ambiguous looking. And she got that from Ryan. Of course, Ryan is Creole. He is half black, half white. But Clara, although she wanted someone who was ambiguous looking, she did not want to take, she wanted to take in, she did, she had a hard time taking in his last name. Cause he told her his last name was some kind of French last name, Dubois or something like that, some Creole French. And she was like, what, what? I w thought I was going to get like a really easy last name, something that I didn't have to repeat myself. So I'm just like, okay, Clara. Um, anyway, so we get Clara and Ryan, then we get Vincent and Brianna, and these two are my favorite couple so far. I feel like out of all of the couples, they I have high hopes for them because Vincent checked out all of Brianna's checked off all of Brianna's boxes. As 
especially when she said she wanted someone with a beard, um, what else, a good job. So she had all these like requirements that she wanted to check off when it comes to her ideal husband. So Vincent matched what she was looking for. Um, Brianna matched what Vincent was looking for. So I was like, oh, okay, I kind of see these two. I have high hopes for them. And I feel like they may be the one couple that may go, may stay together. I feel like, so far, so good. All right, so the next wedding we have for episode two, we have Virginia and Eric. Guys, this one was so funny. Virginia was clearly intoxicated to her own wedding. And you guys, it was so funny because you have Eric who's just this so laid back and you have Virginia who says she likes to go out, she likes to drink. And I feel like Virginia had might have had way too much to drink before the wedding, but it was so funny. I'm going to think, I think that these two may hit us with a surprise. They are a little opposite of each other, each other, which I think that these, so far, a lot of these couple are kind of opposite of each other. I'm just like, what are these matchmakers doing? They have, I don't know. I'm just like, are you sure this, like, this is going to work? Okay, let's go ahead and leave it to the expert. I'm pretty sure they know what they are doing. They have done the statistics for it, the, um, the research for it. So this is, like I said, this is a social experiment. So I'm going to trust the expert that they know exactly what they are doing when they match these couples together. So Virginia, she had, I think she kind of, the way she was acting may have had Eric's parents feel a little uncomfortable because mind you, Eric comes from a very, they repeated it multiple times, conservative family, right? And Virginia comes from a very non-traditional, non-conservative, divorcee kind of parent um, family. So she's a product of divorced parents. And she's mentioned that on the show. She's mentioned how it affected her growing up. And Eric, he just comes from a very conservative family household. So, I mean, I feel that Eric and Virginia, they may end up working. It, it looks weird now, but from how I'm seeing it, I think they may work. So, so far, Eric and Virginia and Brianna and Vincent are my two favorite couples so far. And I feel like they will be, they will work. All right, so we are way, so right now we are on episode three. And guys, episode three actually just wrapped up. And there is so much things that's happened. We've been waiting for Paige and Chris's wedding. I feel like it should have happened episode two, but they just wanted us to wait until episode three. So let's go ahead and talk about Paige and Chris's wedding and everything that just, it was just red flags from the beginning, guys. So it was red flags from the beginning. We seen this in the bachelor party. Chris was rubbing all of the guys the wrong way, especially how he was talking to them and, you know, throwing slight jabs and very being very full of himself. Um, Chris, so he was engaged recently and he called off the engagement. He said he is, of course, he, he's from a very spiritual background, but the guys are a little like, okay, just because of the comments that Chris makes, it seems like the only thing that he is wanting out of this marriage is someone to be a vessel and someone to bear his children and a lot of the guys are just like you know Chris are you really here for marriage and you know they're a little skeptical and there's red flags too so there's also red flags in Chris's family as well now I see where Chris might get kind of cockiness from in shallow ways because 
his also concern was how his new wife is going to look if he is going to be attracted to her and guys like Chris's dad was even saying yeah I hope that my daughter-in-law you know hope she is good looking and all I'm like that is strange that is strange so Chris has an interesting family now we get Paige so Paige is she's ready to settle down Paige is 26 she has she has her life, everything like going for her. Paige is a, she's an accountant. She's a realtor. So she has it going on. Like she got, um, so she has pretty much like, she has at a, such a young age of 26. So she's very well accomplished. She's doing a dang own thing. So we also get, um, so we do we get it. There, so we're at Chris and Paige's wedding, and when Paige comes out, she's really nervous. She doesn't know what to think. She doesn't know how he's going to receive her. So Chris, you know, he sees Paige. He thinks she's beautiful, and they, you know, at first it's a little awkward and stuff just because we've been waiting such a long time for this wedding. So yeah, Chris thinks, you know, Paige is beautiful, and they make their vows and you know they were a little skeptical about like um kissing each other for their wedding um so chris also tells um well he starts asking Paige all these kind of questions like are you like what do you do for a living she tells him she asks him what he does so Chris says okay of course he's an entrepreneur he also does real estate and so 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 far so good then it got to a point where Paige is actually starting to feel uncomfortable because he was saying he kept talking he keeps talking about his fiance his ex-fiance and Paige is a little scared because she's like well Chris are you fully healed because I see you're always talking about your ex and all this stuff and it's like this is still fresh and also she realized that Chris has a tattoo and he said he had to get a tattoo because he him and his ex fiance had their names tattooed on them so this is already hidden red flags for Paige Paige is not sure what in the world she got herself into when it comes to Chris so then we also have Chris and Paige, they are kind to, they're um, having their first dance and it's still a little awkward. Paige even sees it herself because she feels that Chris wasn't really looking at her um, when they were doing like dancing. It seems like Chris is just too, too into himself. And so she's just like, she's kind of like second guessing herself. Like what did she get herself into? So Paige um, and Chris, they meet their family, like each other's families. Um, Chris's family really likes Paige. I think she's really sweet. And Paige is very, very sweet. They feel like she's very articulated with her words, very well spoken, and she is very well spoken. So they are they really, really like um Paige. They really like Paige. So Chris meets up with Paige's friends, and he's just like, he doesn't really know, like, Paige is not typically the kind of girl that he goes for and stuff, because he feels that Paige, um, he feels that Paige, um, because she's such a very well, like, driven woman, and she has her own, she has her own money, and so he, I feel, okay, so this is what I think, Chris can say all he wants about whatever he wants about Paige and all this stuff. I feel that as soon as P Chris, as soon as Paige told Chris that she was a CPA and she was a realtor, pretty much she had her own money going on. I feel like P Chris felt intimidated. Yes, I feel like he felt intimidated because she was not looking at him for his money. Because that's all Chris talked about during the whole show. Like. Um, Paige was um, like women always come for him for his money and all this stuff so he 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 met a woman that had her own money and she was still she's really young so Paige's only 26 
and she just had her own thing going on so i feel like chris felt intimidated you can kind of tell his whole body language changed change because all this stuff chris might have been wearing it was Paige was not impressed by it. So Chris can say whatever he wants. I'm not even gonna repeat anything that comes out of Chris's mouth um, concerning Paige. He can say whatever he wants. I feel that Chris was intimidated by Paige's success. I honestly, that's what I feel like he was, and you can tell. So let me know, do you agree with me saying that Chris might have been intimidated? because if you watch his body language you can tell so then um what else do we get okay so we get um okay so we get jacob and Haley. they have their whole wedding um jacob is kind of nerdy he says that and he's kind of a little concerned how Paige may feel well sorry how Haley may feel about him Haley is our forever um, bridesmaid. She's mentioned that she she has mentioned that she's been a bridesmaid for almost 14 weddings. So Haley is she's she's not new to this. She's you know it, it's she thinks it's a little strange that she is the bride, not the bridesmaid. So for me, I I was kind of a little skeptical about pay hey, um sorry Jacob and Haley because. Jacob is such, like, he says that he describes himself as a hermit. And Paige, you can tell she's very bubbly. Sorry. Haley is very bubbly. She's very outgoing. And Jacob is all about, he likes, like, weird kind of 70s music and 70s lifestyle. So, I don't know. I don't think, to me, I feel that just like Chris and Paige, Haley and Jacob may not be compatible with each other i don't know what the what the um what the experts were thinking when they pair these two together or these four two couples together i don't know i feel like they got it right when it comes to pretty much the other couples but these two i'm not sure what the experts were thinking i feel that jacob might still have a little bit of insecurity when it comes to him because he mentioned that he lost a lot of weight so i feel like he he may be kind of having some little insecurity when it comes to that because he says that he's not really used to being in his new body so he's still um he's still trying to discover himself and i don't know like I want, they look really cute together. You know, they look really cute together. So does Chris and Paige. But I don't think that their energy are compatible with each other. So I don't know what the experts were doing. But I'm really excited for next week's episode. Do you guys agree with my analysis when it comes to Chris? Um, What do y'all think about this whole like arrangement? Who is your favorite couple so far? And who is your least favorite couple so far? Who do you think is going to make it? For me, I'm thinking Vincent and Brianna, of course, and also Virginia and Eric might surprise all of us. I know for sure that Chris and Paige are not going to make it. And I'm still in the ifs about Ryan and Claire and Jacob and Jacob and Haley. All right, guys. Thank you guys so much. And this is this was like a whole review on episode one through three. So, yeah. Well, thank you guys so much. I will be tuning in next week to review more of Married at First Sight. Peace, love, and blessings.